Hey guys, today I am sharing an Airbnb walkthrough tour, a little bit of the grounds, and also our shopping haul from Fredericksburg, Texas. So the one thing that I forgot to pack was a hairbrush. So my fingers were actually about to leave. We're getting ready to leave, but I wanted to pop on and just introduce what I am sharing today. So I hope you guys enjoy our little weekend getaway in Fredericksburg, Texas. So we're in the live oak one. They have several. I'm gonna start down here though. Look, they have a black stone. Oh, nice. Little sitting area. And then it says that we can, you know, walk around, enjoy. Um, sometimes this has water running through it right now, but we're in a sort of off season. And then this got me in the pictures. How cute. So they did say that most people wear their bathing suit <laughs> in the tub, but we are pretty secluded. There are two other houses that we saw out here, um, but they're not like right next door. Oh, they're feeding the butterflies. Hold on, I'll try to zoom in if you guys can see. Did you guys hear that rooster? Awesome, that's gonna wake us up in the morning. It's gonna be great, but there's a banana peel on the tree and there's a little butterfly on it. Cute. I'm excited. It's nice and quiet. Okay, I'm gonna go back this way. So they have a little chair here, a light that you can turn on. Hold on, let it focus on there. There we go. Lights and some plants, candles that we can light if we wanted to. That's super cute. Okay, but now we're gonna go upstairs and show you the main bedroom. Okay, I'm gonna leave you guys hanging a little bit longer. So here's the door to go in, but we're gonna come out here, see how it's built up in the tree. Oh my gosh. This is actually a tree house. <laughs> yes, so another little sitting area, a hammock. And we'll go this way. See, so yeah, water definitely comes through here when it's really full. Oh, you can, there's a little bit of water right there. It's so nice out here and secluded, a little scary. <laughs> I might have a little trouble going to sleep tonight, but I'm so used to noise. And then look from this view, this is a garage door that you can open from inside. So if we wanted the, you know, fresh air, we can have that. All right, so I'm standing kind of in the corner by the door. So there's that little seating area right when you walk in. It's actually really cool in here, the AC that they have going. But here's the garage door. So we can open that up if we wanted to. A little breakfast or, you know, eating area. And then this is called their little library. So they have a lamp. This is a twin size bed. Um, it does say like adults only, but if you have a baby or a toddler, they do allow that and this is where they sleep. And then they've got, you know, a few old uh, books in here and puzzles, binoculars, that's pretty cool. I love how they made this look like you are in a tree. The little circular window there. A pull out too. Oh yeah. And then we come over here and here's a little kitchen area and they know what it's about because they have a Keurig and they have coffee pods. So I did not bring any coffee. I'll be using um, these ones, Javelia. I don't know if that's how you say that. They do have sugar here, some brown sugar in here. They have half and half, little creamer there, an electric kettle. I love this. Look at the microwave and the toaster. That's super cute. And then look at the fridge and freezer. So there's the freezer and the fridge. Oh, there's some sparkling water in there. Actually, that's mineral water, right? The Topo, Ch Topo Chico? Chico. Topo Chico. All right, and then look at this. Extra, oh, it's a mini split. That's what we had in the tiny home in the shop. Okay, and then this, do I know how to open this? Yeah, turn it. Turn it? Oh, it even has a Let's pay attention. There we go. So you turn it. Here's the bathroom. 
Oh, this is really nice. I like this. So we've got the toilet, the sink, and then look at the shower. So you walk in here, and I'm pretty sure I read that it has two. Yeah, so it's got two shower heads. It's got that one, and then this bigger one on that side. They did such a great job. I think it looks beautiful. And then here's the bed. This is a king size bed also with the netting. And then it has a little copper lights and these hanging lights here. We've got some robes that we could use, a record player and some records. That's really cool. And then there's two windows over here as well. We saw a family of deer as we were driving out. And I'll show it to you from this angle. So we've got the bed. And living area. Okay, you guys, it is the next morning after we got here and I shared the tour with you, but I figured I would share a little bit more than just the Airbnb tour. So yesterday, this little book was sitting out on the coffee table. So I was perusing through it and I thought it was such a cute idea for an Airbnb. And right now I'm sitting in the little book area, the little nook, looking out. So, you know, lots of condensation on the window because it is <laughs> very cold in here it's like 61 the uh, mini split they use for the air conditioner works fantastic so all right i'm getting off point because i'm just so relaxed right now i just finished my coffee but what they did was they put a little welcome and they added their favorites in fredericksburg so you know i've been to fredericksburg a couple times but i don't know everything that's here and i just think this this is great especially for people who have never been to fredericksburg they don't know you know, what is available, what's out there, and people coming out of state and all of that. So they put a few of their favorite eats. We're gonna try out one of these places, um, I think tomorrow when we leave. I think this is the one. Yeah, this is the one that we're gonna try out, Emma and Ollie, tomorrow. Eat like a brunch or something. But they just added a few of their favorite eats, and then, oh, maybe we'll, we were thinking about doing this for dinner, I'm not sure, the V Supper Club but there's so many, they got like kid friendly things in here, things to do as couples. Here's a place that has live music. They have got some of their favorite shops, which I'm glad that they did this because it pointed out a few to me that we're gonna look up and go to, like this one, Farmhouse Antiques, Inspirational Home Goods. I'm so excited to check some of these places out, but let me just scroll through this. So they did um, like winery, there's a lot of wineries in Fredericksburg, where to go, Black Chalk, a beautiful home goods store housed in an old laundry facility. I'm hoping to check some of these out today. But I just wanted to share that. I thought that was a really cute idea to add to an Airbnb. All right, so there's our Airbnb. And we are going to, it's just after eight in the morning. We're going to check out the trails that they have here. Uh, the camera is going to Hold on, let me wipe y'all. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be a little foggy. So I'll do the best that I can and share with you guys what I can. Never knew that it could feel this way when you lie next to someone. You don't even need to play pretend cause you find the way you are. I want to know you better. Give me every detail. I won't judge you as you know. I could stay forever. So 
just stay for a little while So just stay for a little friend it does say in the paperwork not to feed her <laughs> so, so she has a good home to come home to. yes it's like please don't feed the cat she has a good home to come back to so and then they have a book inside with all the previous people who've stayed here who've left comments and things like that and a lot of them say the cat is super sweet so yeah she was just waiting for us when we got back from our little walk she's really sweet Nice to meet girl. I'm not allowed to feed you. She followed us up here though. So we're going <laughs> to sit out here for a minute before we go in. I don't want her to feel like we're <laughs> shutting the door in her face. Okay, I am including my shopping or our shopping haul in this video as well. So I figured just in case you guys have not been to Fredericksburg or if you have been and you are curious to see what different shops offer so you can check them out. These items we picked up from the Christmas store. I don't think I have a card for every store, but I'll share what I can. Um, this one is fantastic. It's not just Christmas decorations, as you can see. So we did go ahead and pick up an advent calendar for our three youngest. My oldest has one that my late grandmother made for her. And my younger three, we've kind of just been doing different things every year. And this one is big enough where I can fit um, either three small things in each compartment or like a little piece of paper with their names on it and telling them like what they're getting. And I can give, give that to them or like a little piece of chocolate. Every year I do something different. So we did go ahead and pick that up. I love to collect magnets from everywhere that I go. So I got a magnet from Fredericksburg. I don't think I have a magnet. I try to get different ones. Um, I don't think I have one that looks like a license plate. So this is the magnet that I picked up. And the shirt that I was wearing today had yellow in it. And I saw these earrings and I thought they went perfect. So the next time I wear that shirt, I will wear these earrings, but I think they are super cute. So it's wood on the bottom and then this bright or mustardy yellow color on the top. I love that, but that's the three items that we got from the Christmas shop. All right, next door was called Something for Men. This store was really cool. They had a whole bunch of things to offer, um, but these are the two things that we came home with and these are both actually Christmas presents. So I picked this up. It says it's a good day to go fishing. You can open your beer there and it does catch the tops there. And then this is a car freshener with a leather scent and it does say Department of the Air Force on it, United States of America. So I did pick that up. And again, these are two Christmas presents. So this is one store that we did not get a card for, but it is F&W Culinary Adventure, Fisher and Weiser. I don't, I'm assuming that's correct. So this is what we picked up. I was definitely enticed by a lot of the like food items. <laughs> that they had available so many different things so these two i actually picked up for Paige. she mm -hmm. loves these types of seasonings and she cooks a lot of like veggies and vegan meat substitutes in a sauce over rice that's like one of her go-to favorite things so i thought both of these would be good so this one is a stick and tine cooking sauces a japanese grilling sauce and then this one is a tamarind pad thai stir fry sauce it says cooking and marinade 
uh, with medium heat. So those two I picked up for her. And then Mark saw this tomato basil soup. He loves tomato soup. So he picked this up. It's by With Love Moms. I think everything with this label was on sale as well at this store. And then I have some sausages in the freezer and this sounded really good. I love German food. It's just one of my go-tos. I've been eating German food all weekend. So I've definitely had my fill, but this is Fredericksburg Brothouse beer mustard dip. I think this would be really good if you liked um, this type of thing with pretzels as well, or whether it's a soft pretzel or like um, a hard pretzel, but I thought this was good. They had it available in different sizes. I got the small just because I know not everybody in the house is going to like that, but those are the items we picked up from that store. All right, next shop is the Sweet Lily. And this, you guys are gonna see, we got a lot of different, not a lot, but a few different brands of black bean and corn salsa. It's one of mine and Mark's favorite. So we wanted to go ahead and get a couple different ones so we can try them out. This one is Fredericksburg Farms Rio Grande black bean and corn salsa. And then I saw this and I picked this up to go on a gift for somebody. It says, do small things with great love. I thought it was really, really cute. It's got the little, they're calling it an ornament. That's what the receipt said, but nothing on the back with these little beads. So I thought I would just attach this to a gift that I am giving somebody, but those are the only two things that we got at this shop. Okay, this store was nothing but food. So many good things. I was tempted to fill the bag a lot more than just this, called Wrestling Rob's Texas Gourmet Foods. And Mark watches, what is it called, Hot Ones? Hot Ones, yeah. Hot Ones. And they had a salsa there, or a hot sauce, not a salsa, a hot sauce there that he's seen on that show where a lot of people were like, oh, I can't handle this. So he wanted to try it and he ended up getting the hiccups and sweating profusely and downed two bottles of water. <laughs> That's how hot that sauce was. Uh, but this is what we are coming home with. So I cannot help myself when I see any kind of pecans, like sweet pecans. These are cream brulee pecans. What? That sounds so good. Probably going to bust into these tonight. And then one of my cousins makes this wasal. Is that how you say this? I'm pretty sure. Wasail? Okay. Um, makes this in drink form. But this is actually, you could probably still make this as a drink. Let's look at the back. But I think it's for a dip. Oh yeah, so it shows how to make it as a cider and you typically drink it hot. And he adds rum, I believe. You can add spirit of your choice, hot tea, wine, rum, cranberry juice, um, really however, but he makes it with rum. And he, whenever we get together for Christmas, he brings it. It's uh, one of his parents, his dad, I think, um, would do it. It's like a tradition now. And I just got this because I thought it would be really cool to have it as a drink and as a dip. So it shows how to make it as a dip. You use this, mat, this mix, cream cheese, some vanilla which they sold like their own vanilla and then half and half or milk soften the cream cheese add in everything mix well that sounded really good so i went ahead and picked this up so we could give that a try you know hopefully this christmas our family will get together and then again <laughs> another black bean and corn salsa this is a tejas black bean and corn salsa so excited to try that and then they had a lot of samples out where you could try them and mark tried their chili when you walked into this store though you could smell the chili it smelled really really good so this little dynamite here has all the chili fixins in it like the let's see it has two i think right Two. Yes, brown two pounds of meat. So if you want it, if you were making it for a crowd, you know, th this has everything you need it or you could break it apart and have two different dinners of chili. And then it came with a sweet cornbread mix as well. So we picked that up because Mark, like I said, Mark tried the sample and he said it was really, really good. Okay, I don't have a card or anything, but they do have a sticker on the bag. Another food place, Lock, Stock, and Barrel. I picked this up for Paige. It's a garden veggie soup. I thought her and I could have this for lunch one day. It does serve eight. <laughs> So this will be something that we'll like eat all week. We'll make it and this will be our lunch all week or maybe I'll make this as a dinner but also do like some sausage or something on the side for um, everybody who wants it. But it does say vegan, non-GMO, no added MSG or preservatives made with gluten-free ingredients. And again, it's just a garden veggie soup. It just looked really, really good. And then here's another black bean and corn salsa. This one is new at Cannon Farms. So we picked that one up. And then I wasn't paying attention to prices and I didn't realize how expensive these were, but 
I've seen these on like Facebook and Instagram ads and they just looked really, really cool. So we're gonna be having, Kira and I and a friend that's coming in town are having a little girls weekend coming up and I thought that this would be really fun to try. So it's an instant mimosa cocktail kit and these are Lux sugar cubes and I was reading the back and it says you can really mix it with whatever. Create a mimosa, an Italian soda, artisan flavored champagne, cocktail instantly. And all you do, let's see, 16 calories per little cube. Place the cube in the bottom of the flute, pour bubblies over the cube, and that's your drink. So it does have suggested pairings on here. Brute sparkling wine, club soda, iced tea, lemonade, margaritas, vodka, and soda. I'm excited to try these. They were a bit pricey, but, and they had different kinds. I just saw the mimosa and I was like, oh, that's awesome. So this is the one that I picked and I'm, I'm excited to try those. I hope they are good. Okay, we did not get a receipt for this one and I don't have a card or anything. There were, I think only two, maybe three candy stores on Main Street, but it's one of the candy stores on Main Street. Um, and these are the items that we picked up. So again, with Kira in mind, uh, knowing that we're going to be getting together actually several times in September. Um, I picked up these Big Pops Everything Bagel popcorn. I think she's going to enjoy trying that. I like Everything Bagel as well. So um, we can enjoy this one of the nights that we are together. And then for the kids, the younger three, I don't think Paige is going to care about this stuff, but I got these gummy A's. They're fruit flavored gummies, but they are individually wrapped like band-aids. I thought that was really cool. And then these are super cool especially if you do not know how to whistle. This is whistle candy. They are fruit flavored. It says the candy which makes sweet music. I don't know if it like has directions, you know, but I'm assuming you just pop one in your mouth, put it, you know, like at the front and blow through it and it sounds like a whistle. I'm hoping that would be really cool. I would open one and try it for you guys, but I want to save these for the kids and the way that they're wrapped up, they would all come open if I open this plastic off. So um, we did get that for the kids. I thought that was fun. All right, from our house, I'm pretty sure that's how you say that. This place was so cool. They had a lot of furniture. Unfortunately, we were just not planned to buy furniture, but they had a couple coffee tables that I had my eye on, but we're not redoing the living room just yet. So um, this place is really cool if you're looking for furniture for your house and they offer a lot of, you can like change the fabric, the wood stain, things like that. So if you guys, you know, again, are looking to spruce up your house a little bit, this place was really cool. They had a lot of fun pieces, but we did end up with this. So this is a bottle opener. This is a Christmas gift as well. And these are from the PGA tour in what year? Do you remember? Mm -hmm. Like these are, these are authentic. I don't think they said like the year. So they might be from different years. Like she just gets the ones that she can, but um, she gets these. These are authentic clubs that are used in the PGA tour. So I'll just show you guys that. So if you have like an avid golfer, she actually had quite a few pieces made out or you know made out of golf items. There was a paper towel holder that had clubs like sticking out like four of them I think as the base and then the actual part that the paper towels go on was the handle of the club which I thought was really really cool it was you know wrapped in the leather or whatever material that is it was really really neat looking they had a ton of things so we went ahead and picked this up we do have a few people in our lives that love to golf and I thought that was really cool and unique Okay, this is just a little funny haul. So we had to go to the gas station for a couple reasons. Mark wanted some Blue Moon, so we got some Blue Moon. We had to get gas, so we got gas. And then because of the salsas that we picked up, we were like, you know what, we should just do a taste test while we're here. So we wanted to get chips. And then these two were just extra. Oh no, and we like to get lottery tickets when we were out of town. So we got lottery tickets as well. So we just got the regular chips for the salsas and then I saw these chips in the bag knowing that football season is coming up. I went ahead and picked these up. Um, Kira's husband Daryl is a big Cowboys fan so I just picked these up and I'm going to give them to her next time I see her just as a little like funny haha. -ha. Here's some chips in a Cowboys themed bag. I just thought of him when I saw those and then 
when we were checking out, there was a collection of Duke's flavored items behind us. And I was telling Mark, I was like, oh, there's a new flavor. And the lady that was checking us out was like, oh, those are really good. So she sold Mark on these teriyaki smoked shorty sausages. We love these, the Duke's brand, they're really good. Um, it says made with pineapple and teriyaki. So we picked those up, but yeah, that's our little gas station purchase. So Der Kuchenladen is probably the store we spent the most time in and we could have brought home a lot more. But this is what made it to check out. I actually picked up a, a new dishwasher magnet. The magnet that I have currently is from the Pioneer Woman and I love it. It's super cute and colorful. However, it's wooden and we have a puppy and the puppy likes to chew everything. And every time I do the dishes, he's over there chewing on it whenever I close the door. <laughs> so it has a few chew marks in it and I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna get this one. I like how clean lined this is, it's flatter. So it's not um, sticking out as much and hopefully he won't notice it. And it also just rotates. The other one I you know, take off and put back on on the dirty side, but I love this. I picked that up. And then I went ahead and got this butter extract because the other day, well actually it's been a couple weeks now, I was going to make, I think I shared it in a vlog also. I was trying to make the Harry Potter butter beer at home and it's you know more legit if you have butter extract well I couldn't find it I went to three different stores and I couldn't find it so I did go ahead and pick this up for just various things it really tastes good if you add a little bit of this into like cakes and things like that muffins so I got that and then I have a masher potato masher from the Dollar Tree and it's so bent very you know you sometimes at the Dollar Tree not everything is worth a dollar and it's definitely more on the flimsy side, so I got a better one. This one's the world's greatest dual action masher. So it has a little spring load in there, if you guys can see there. So I did go ahead and splurge and get this one. This is actually for my mom. She collects this type of pottery. They had a huge selection there. I would have picked up a couple pieces like with gifts in mind for her, but I don't know what she has. <laughs> So I need to pay attention because we will be coming back to Fredericksburg. Uh, Mark and I really loved this trip. So we're looking forward to coming back, but I don't know what she has. So I need to check out her kitchen the next time I go to her house and see what she's got. So the next time we're out here, I can go back and get some pieces that she doesn't have. But I texted her a picture of this and asked her if she would want this because you know, this isn't pottery kitchenware that she would use as a dish or anything. This is Halloween decor. And I don't know if she would want that, but she was like, yes, it's super cute, pick it up. So I did pick that up for her. And then I have some cheapo plastic measuring cups. And these have been on my list for a while. Mark actually noticed them and pointed them out. So I did go ahead and get the, I'm pretty sure you say OXO. I think I said this in my last video, but I'm so used to saying, I just say OXO, that's what I say. That's what it looks like when I see it. So these OXO Good Grips three piece angled measuring cup set and it's got a one cup, a two cup and a four cup. So the set that I have now, um, I will just put in a little donation pile for the next time we drop donations off and these will be my new ones. And then these two things Mark actually saw and picked up. He picked up a new knife. So this is Victorinox Swiss Army. He picked that one up and then he also, I've purchased a few different pieces to try to do poached eggs. I got the little, I can't remember the first set that I picked up, but I, I've picked up two different kinds and both of them have not worked. He has not been a fan. And finally we saw this and this is like you're poaching eggs in this pan and nothing else. So this poaches four eggs at a time. He went ahead and splurged on this. Are there any other pictures? Not really, but it's a pan. Actually, you can probably use this as a pan also because this piece comes out. So you could use this as a pan or it has this little piece in here that you set in there. You put the water down here and it steams with the lid on. It steams your eggs to poach them. So he's excited to try that. But yeah, that's everything that we decided to pick up this time from the big kitchen store. Okay. And then we went ahead and actually signed up for our first wine club. And this was really fun. So I've actually done a wine tasting before when Kira, Madison, and I all got together. It was really fun and really neat, but Mark and I had never done one. And it was try six, yeah, taste six wines for like 20 bucks. So he and I both did it so we could try 12 wines. And we're definitely, 
Um, we've been picking up Moscato di Asti's everywhere because you know we've tried red wines before and they're just really bitter. This was a whole different experience. I definitely realized that red wines are not all dry. They can be delicious. This one, really, really good. Not dry at all, very smooth, tastes delicious. It actually gives you a little bit of, so here's our wine tasting list. So we were able to almost try all of them and this red one, let's see, it says a dry, fruity, full-bodied with dense texture and subtle tan tannins. I know nothing about wine, but these were some of our favorites. And we went ahead and signed up. It's four. You get four wines um, every quarter. So every four months you get like, you know, it ends up being a wine a month, but you get them all at once. So we went ahead and did that. And knowing that we want to come back here, you can, you know, pick it up or have it shipped. We chose to get it picked up, but there's just a little info on it. It's a Flavio's Wine Club. You don't have to pay anything. The membership is free. You just pay for the wine and it's discounted. The wine is discounted from if you were just to walk into the shop and buy a bottle there. But these are the three that we are going home with. We got, we did get the Moscato Diosti. This one is super sweet. Like the sweetest wine I've ever had. Um, definitely more like a dessert wine, but I picked this up knowing that, you know, I've got a couple things with Kira and I think we will, you know, drink that one night. This rosé was really, really good. So bringing that home, their Prosecco was so good like several of the wines I already have a list going for the next quarter when we get four bottles yeah I'm excited and then this one I don't remember how to say it Costa Vecchia Vecchia Costa Vecchia okay really really good red wine I'm excited about that I might have this maybe like invite my parents over for dinner one night and we can all have this with something for dinner because it was really really good and I want to you know share it <laughs> because uh, we've always been sweet Moscato lovers but we actually enjoyed several of the wines that we tried so first time signing up for a wine club you guys are gonna have to let me know if you are members of any uh, let me know which ones and what wine is your favorite. That would be good to know as Mark and I, you know, dip our toes into the wine world a little bit and start branching out and trying new ones. All right, so we were so impressed with this Airbnb that there's actually five total little tree houses um, from this one couple. So I will have the link down below in case you guys are close enough, you're looking to get away for a couple days. They book up very, very quickly. They're super popular. We were able to get in to their last weekend in uh, their last weekend that is open in December. So Mark and I are going to come back. We had so much fun this time. We would love to see this area during Christmas time. So I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out a little bit, seeing the tour, seeing what we picked up at the shops on Main Street, going on a little trail walk with us. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe if you are new, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.